I had Mr. Watt as a senior at Jefferson City Senior High School. Mr. Watt had an engaging, non-judgmental teaching style. He was an intelligent man and well-read. In class, he asked questions using the Socratic teaching method, and he listened carefully for your answers. I do not recall us having a textbook in his class. He was always well prepared for class. He had a dry sense of humor, connected with his students, and he cared for them. He greatly influenced me to become a political science major at the University of Missouri in Columbia. Mr. Watt grew up in Cedar City, Missouri. He attended Jefferson City High School and he graduated in 1948. He immediately attended Jefferson Junior College. After junior college, he enlisted in the United States Navy during the Korean War conflict. He was stationed in Tennessee, California, and Japan. When he returned home from his career service in the Navy, he obtained his bachelor's degree in education from the University of Missouri in Columbia. He was hired as a teacher in the Jefferson City School District. It was the only district in which he taught. He taught American history classes at Simonson for the eighth grade. He later then moved to the high school to teach American history, international relations, and contemporary issues. For his superior teaching skills and positive impact on students, the Marcullus Yearbook was dedicated to him in 1967. He retired as a district teacher on May 12, 1992 by teaching his final years at Simonson, the building where his teaching career began. For many, many students, he was their favorite teacher. Mr. Watt died on August 8, 2020 at his home in Jefferson City. He was 89 years old. When I think back about my days at JC, I conclude with certainty that I had several wonderful teachers, coaches, and administrators. Clarence Buswatt was one of them. This honor greatly delights me to acknowledge that his memory will be forever preserved by his induction into the Foundation's Hall of Leaders as an outstanding retired educator.